Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing Uzbek Tiger in the three minute pool on ICC. This is a Grandmaster. Who do we have here? Tahir Vakidov. He says he's USSR Rapid Champion in 1993. I suspect that wasn't an easy title to achieve, so this guy's pretty good. And he's got a high rating for three minute. I think anything above 2400 in three minute is excellent. But Finns is not afraid. We're going to give Mr. Uzbek Tiger a run for his money. He's taking a little bit of time at the beginning. Maybe he's distracted. Again, these three-minute games are just kind of a bit of a departure from my five-minute games. Originally, when I was doing Blitz videos, I was alternating like three- and five-minute games. But I came to realize you can't really play a serious three-minute game. Like, it's very tough to do. The quality of the games in five minute compared to three minute is drastically different. That extra two minutes like really matters. Because three minute, if you pause to think for like any serious amount of time on a move, you're probably just going to be in massive time pressure. So, all right, we get this line. Uh, let's take with the knight. I usually take with the bishop. I actually don't know uh, knight takes as well. Funny, because I just played this in a, a bullet game too recently as well. But I think knight takes leads to some more active possibilities, so let's, we'll see what happens. And I'm already up 45 seconds on the clock. Can't complain. Let's go after that knight. And he attacks my knight. Okay. I think this is what the other player did to me. Hmm. All right, I'm going to put the knight back on the undesirable a3 square, as much as it pains me to do so. Let's trade Check. these guys off. And maybe knight c4. I'll hold off on bishop g5 for now. Probably the bishop will come to g5, but I learned in this bullet game where I faced this line, I think against Grandmaster Castor, Rodrigo Vasquez, that the knight can get easily off sides on a3. So let's try to reintroduce it to the position. I might just flag this guy by the way he's playing. Maybe he has internet issues or something. Who knows? Okay, here, d5 is kind of under attack, isn't it? Could I play bishop back to d2? Nah, let's play here to be safe. We're going to guard that pawn. Hmm, let's go here. So maybe knight a5 in the future. Could be something. Brings the knight out. Now I probably have to defend it with knight e3. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Knight b6 could come. Lots of pressure on that pawn. And I'm not sure bishop b3 is what I want, so I might have to trade here as much as I dislike doing this. Hmm. Yeah, this line is not working out so well, but let's do this and guard b2. Maybe get more influence on c4. Knight g4, followed by knight h6 maybe. <laughs> All right, let's play a4. If c4, I'm going to play rook c1, I think, and try to pin him along the c-file. All right, now we're going to strike with knight g4. Let's just see what he wants after this. Knight check, king h8. Maybe nothing, maybe something. Let's just play this to be safe. You can take on a4. Check. All right, let's give this check. I gotta go after his king. Queen c5 is really asking for it. I know he's even up the time here, but we gotta we gotta go after that king. Wow, you're gonna do this and allow knight g5? I'm surprised, sir. I guess I see your point. Alright, so now we're gonna try for rook f3. And try to eliminate that knight and checkmate him. It's gonna happen exactly like that. <laughs> Probably not, because I see a couple defenses for him, but it's going to annoy him and put him under pressure. Which is about the best I can hope for. Like, Check. queen e5 is a defense, right? Check. Yeah, that also. Hmm. All right, let's do this. If bishop e7, I can take c4. So at least there's that. Fortunately, knight g4 is not possible, because I have a pawn there. The issue for me is I'm not threatening much. Like, I'm not threatening rook takes f6. Miracle, please? What? That move, really? Check. Hold your horses, sir. 
take here? No, that's not going to work. Ah, it's worth a shot, actually, because I can go win the bishop after this. Hmm. Yeah, his king is on the loose. Check. His king is hard to defend. Let's just come here for now. Check. He's going to simplify. Check. Now let's go after that A pawn, at least for Check. now. Hmm. Advance this. So he's got 25 seconds left. It's not a lot of time. Let's come over here. Check. Check. Let's go take that next move. Check time. We've got a lot of pawns we can throw at him. Check. This guy's pretty fast, though, I'm sure. Mm, let's not get mated. Check. Check. We're run out with our king. Check. Check. Oh, he has that. Run the pawn. I think we're losing now. Check. Oh, he got us right at the end. <laughs> nice game, Uzbek Tiger. That was intense. That was very intense. Couldn't believe that tactic he pulled out with uh, queen takes g5. Yeah, so his idea there is if, if I take with my queen, he takes my rook, and then rook h1, I think, is impossible to stop. Rook h1 checkmate. Oh, I have g4, don't I? Now, but g4... Let me just go to that critical moment. And he made up for his slow Check. play at the beginning by basically blitzing Check. me out at the end and doing a, a fine job of it, coordinating his queen Check. and knight. Okay, so right here. So queen takes g5. I didn't see that move. He must have calculated it because bishop b7 does allow for bishop takes c4. So if I take here, then he goes here, and what am I doing about rook h1 mate? I could play g4, but I think the issue with that check. is he just gives a check, and then he forks the king check. and the queen, and he's going to be up a rook. So I believe after queen takes g5, I have to go bishop takes f7, check. which is what I did, and check. then take here. Yeah, and I'm losing. I have two pawns for the piece, but I'm probably losing. But his king is check. open, so at least check. you know it made check. it an interesting fight. Check. Yeah, I'm sure Check. this was far Check. from perfect for both sides. Check. He did a really good job of keeping his composure Check. here. Ooh, I missed that I could just take his last pawn. Queen takes d6. Whoops. That would have been nice. Check. As played, I got a second Check. queen, Check. but it didn't matter. Somehow Check. he found a defense out of this craziness. Check. Yeah, and he's winning now. I was just pre-moving at this point, trying to figure something out. But well played Check. by Uzbek Tiger. He saw all of that at the end. And then this is a win for black because it's a knight pawn. If it's a bishop pawn or a rook pawn, assuming the black king is not close enough, that's a draw um, because there are stalemate tricks. I won't go over Check. all that. But against a, a knight pawn, even though it's one square away from queening, he can force my king in front of the pawn as he did, and then he can slowly approach Check. with his own king. Check. You know, this was all done in massive time pressure for both sides, but you see what he's doing. Like with queen f6, that's a point blank check. And he's forcing me to flee from the defense of my own pawn. So I had to go king in front of the pawn, and yeah, now he just approaches, and eventually check. he's going to win that pawn mate. and checkmate me. So, intense game. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye, guys.